plan entails. House passed the Tax Cut and Jobs Act today, a bill that would affect every American and business in the country. Its main goal is to lower taxes on companies to encourage them to stay in the U.S. The bill also lowers the corporate tax rate permanently. Not so permanent, however, are the tax cuts for the average American. Next year, the average household would receive a tax cut of about $1,200. By the year 2027, that tax cut would drop to an average of $860. Those estimates come from the nonpartisan Joint Committee on Taxation, which says 92% of Americans would either pay less or see little change in their taxes over the next five years under the new plan. But after five years, only 40% of Americans would pay less and 22% would actually pay more. This is about giving hardworking taxpayers bigger paychecks, more take home pay. This is about giving those families who are struggling peace of mind. The plan before the Finance Committee fulfills our main goal for tax reform, taking more money out of Washington's pockets and putting more money into the pocket of the middle class. The plan now heads to the Senate where there are already signs of trouble. Their version is still in the works, but adds a provision to scrap the legal requirement that all Americans buy health insurance or pay a penalty. One Republican senator has already come out against that and more are on the fence. If more than two Republican senators vote no, the tax plan will not pass. Johnny.